His quest in 2019 to find a burger joint in Whanganui that used beetroot in their burgers went viral. Now Jeff Horn is turning his eyes to pies. He's looking for the best, but he won't be choosing a winner. That's a little, a little unfair of me to do so because there are so many good products and it's personal taste, you know. Um, I love a solid steak pie and not everyone does, you know. So if I turn around and sort of says, oh, well, this pie from this place is, is the best, it's because I liked it, it suited my taste. Um, but it's not going to be everybody's taste. So. The musician, IT whiz and recent import to Whanganui is making his way around every pie shop in town. But why? There's quite a strong community presence. And look, we've got this art culture here, which I think is absolutely fabulous. And being part of the music scene, um, I certainly, you know, see that as a, a real positive thing. But I'm also thinking, wouldn't it be good if Wanganui was also known for its meat pies? Being a foodie from way back, you can understand why I might think that way. While the pie project plans are under wraps for now, it's a project that won't happen overnight. The former Too Many Pies guy, well aware of the need to pace himself. Yeah, well, I have to be brutally honest and say they're, they're not what you would call the healthiest meal. Um, but as a treat every now and then, um, and if you're sensible about it and don't eat sort of one every two days like I used to. It's no secret the locals are passionate about their pie shops, so when Jeff posted on a community Facebook page looking for bakeries to try, it sparked a lot of conversation and a spike in pie sales. We went pretty nuts after that, eh? It went, it went crazy, we sold out. I think it was bloody near every day for the next two weeks. It was just, I couldn't keep up. I was, I was selling them as they were coming out the oven. Like many bakeries in town, Chase's best-selling pies come with some solid heritage. No, well, I just sort of started as I was a kid. The old, um, used to be a bakery up on the corner. One bit of homemade pies, and I grew up there as a kid, because my old man used to make them. Yeah, I, I used to make pies when I was bloody five years old. I'd make a tray before I went to school. So, you know, just do you know, sometimes it was just a tray of savouries or whatever it was, but... Keep me happy, eh? <laughs> Butch Arts has been in the family for generations, started by the current owner's great-great-grandfather. Dad was working here since, I guess, he was a kid. Um, and then he ended up, um, his name is Don, and he was, um, he was a national swimmer. He was actually quite a recognised um, New Zealand swimmer. He used to go swimming and all the rest of it, and then uh, he'd have to leave the swim meet and come back here, come back to work straight away, uh, even if they were like in Gisborne or something like that. While Jeff is committed to celebrating the humble pies, spare a thought for those who make them, daily and nightly. Yeah, oh, about mid yeah, midnight, one o'clock in the mornings. Just, yeah, just the varies on how much I've got to do, how many orders I've got, and yeah, other shops, or you know, someone might come and want a catering order done or something like that. So yeah, we do it all, mate. <laughs> Jeff has some sage advice for anyone thinking of getting into the business. Okay, I understand the commercial realities, you know, you, you've got to keep your costs down and your sales volume high if you're going to make a living at it. So I understand the rationale behind perhaps reducing the amount of costly meat that you put in your pies. But sometimes I wonder whether um, you do yourself in the eye if you sort of cost cut too much like that. Because you end up producing a product that might not be as good as somewhere else. And over time and with volume sales, um, people are going to figure that out quite quick and they'll go to the place that does what they find the best. If you've got a hot pie tip for Jeff, feel free to hit him up at a venue near you. The Transistors' next show is at Barracks on the 19th of June. Georgie Ormond, Local Focus.